Are we recording? We are recording. Okay, I have some bad news for you guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, this will be my last episode of Bark Bark Meow. Okay. Oh no. One second. April Fools! Uh, oh, Solace left. Oh, fuck. Damn. Solace oh, said no. the last episode was his last episode. Oh, do, oh I guess so. No, Solace! Solace, no! <laughs> Solace, no! Solace! Damn. I, I can't. I April Fools. April like Fools. <laughs> I was like, I was like, God, you were just at a con. Anything could have. It's the first. <laughs> no, I. Yeah. And you're like, what, what, yeah, what, like, what did they go through that emotionally changed them to come to this decision? Were they thinking about it on the plane home? No. No, I, I was like, I, I didn't think that, like, as soon as you were like, uh, this is my last episode, I was like, okay, they're, they're capping, but like, oh, you, you like, knew, I, I did know, when you were like, I have bad news, I was like, oh god, so anything could have happened at the con. I, I literally, like, I was like, oh, I should prank him, and then I said I have bad news, and I was like... I didn't think of anything to say. Fuck. <laughs> no, I hate that. That's great. I did jump out a window at the con. I did I see that. I w didn't. Uh. I wish somebody recorded it. I thought, oh, there's a picture, huh? Not this. It's just a picture, oh, yeah. Okay. I guess where it didn't end up. No, it's not on blue. I, programmer I, B Sky. I just saw the me? mermaid stand. The mermaid stand is pretty peak. Do you want that in the episode, Ruby? What is this? What? The mermaid your, your keg, keg stand. stand. Oh yeah, yeah. You can okay. throw that in. I, I'll right. tell you about the story of how the keg stand started. It's great. But really yeah, quick, yeah. let's do this. Welcome on in to this episode of Bark. Meow. Off. <laughs> I was trying to say arf, but it didn't quite come <laughs> out. So, I, oh hey, we're, goodness. We're recording this, this on this April first. Uh, oh. Happy April Fools! Happy April Fools! It's so weird to say Happy Easter on Sunday and then it's immediately April first, which is Fools Day. Well, oh, last man. year April for, uh, Easter and April first were on the same day, and all oh. the all the memes of Jesus like pranking everybody was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. This year, uh, Easter and Trans Day of Visibility were on the same day, and that was a uh, significantly less funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just, yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to talk about that, and we'd all, I really want to hear about your experience at the LVFC. I want to hear I about saw that the too. Lorax. I almost went. You saw the what? I saw the Lorax at LVFC, and because uh -huh. he was running around on Sunday, the joke like I screamed it across the con, and it, the joke kind of stuck. I was like, oh, "It's Trans Day of Visibility. We can finally see the Lorax." <laughs> and he's like, "Yes, but only today." <laughs> <laughs> did you see my post on Blue Sky? I did. I haven't even opened Blue Sky. Uh, yeah, it was just a. It was just like a to to be like a fun thing because. I don't know. You, you gotta, you gotta say something. And I just said, all trans people have negative or have a disadvantage on all perception checks for the day, but they all get, <laughs> they all get a D four of inspiration to all rolls as well as uh, advantage on all charisma checks. I like that. And yes, that the good. charisma was flying. It was, it was just for fun. But part of me was like, I, I, I like to have fun. And I'm like having a fun little joke because you know, this is, it's, you know, it's the trans day of visibility. It's good. Yeah. But then it's like realistically though it's sad that there has to be a day when it can't just be you know normalcy for you know trans people to have basic human rights so yeah trans day, like, trans day of visibility is an interesting one for me too because i'm not i don't know if it's something that a lot of trans people even want to celebrate and like we need it don't get me wrong but wanting to be a part of the binary and in the cis is such a real trans experience that it's hard to be like I'm so loudly and proudly trans because some some trans mm -hmm. people want to be loudly and proudly like perceived as cis. So it's a very interesting one. For yeah, me. true. Hey, you can't use that word anymore. Remember, no, I was just thinking. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, this is a, a slur. slur. It's a slur, guys. Do we have a screenshot of that? Uh, I can. Go, I I don't want to. I said I it on the like, after You did, I mean, you didn't can you? Just, you can just. Yeah, I kind of fucked it there. I'll censor it. <laughs> Editing just Misha, censor it, but yeah. You have a screenshot of it because you're a petty bitch and posted about it on your AD. You have a screenshot of it. <laughs> Throw it on out I'm there. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. No, I had. Was... I also had a joke involving Easter and Trans Day of Visibility, but like, I couldn't figure out how to word it because like, it, I wanted to like be like, oh, it's cool that like 
two holidays involving eggs are on the same day because like when somebody figures out they're trans oh, it's like cracking mm-hmm. an egg you know but i was like i don't know if people are gonna get that <laughs> a lot of people do um, i actually I only learned what an egg was this year oh i actually i'm not gonna lie sam <laughs> oh really? i think i told you what an egg was <laughs> uh i think it was a post to be honest oh, okay yeah so for those who don't know trans uh trans terminology an egg it can be referred to somebody who hasn't come out of not not just the closet but kind of to themselves mm. like that one streamer isn't be considered an egg i think their name is fritz is and it they're really pop Finster? Oh, go ahead. yeah 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 she would be considered an egg because for years she did all of the women things but was like i'm definitely not trans though you guys and everyone's like um, okay sure jan and then she's like i started hrt last year yeah <laughs> so yeah. good for her yeah yeah it's like when you have that realization of i might not be cis like they call it cracking an egg or cracking yeah. the egg. Uh, right um yeah i i feel that uh the same feeling, Misha, because it's one of those things where I never want to say something that would be upsetting, even though it's met in jest or a joke or, or, or even accidentally, like, again, talking for trans people when it's not my place kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and so I always try to tread that as lightly as possible. And my, my thing is, is when I make posts like that, uh, if I ever see any sort of, like, concern raised or anything, I'm very quick to either... Uh, edit, clarify, or do whatever is needed to be to like make it right. That that's kind of the best thing is like go at it with your best attempt, um, and and just be willing to make changes accordingly. Yeah. Um, because I think it's good. It's it's good that you know I think as an ally, you know, you gotta be out there throwing out that support as much as possible. So yeah, like I I like to make jokes and like. You know, I like to make jokes about my friends and everything. Uh, I never I never want people to feel like I'm, like, punching down at them. Especially with, like... Which is why I didn't, like, post that joke. Is because, like, I, I didn't want someone to interpret it the wrong way. I don't right. really know how they would interpret it the wrong way. But you, know, you never know. And, like... Yeah, it's one I of those things that because... It. Yeah, because you are in such a sensitive place as, like, a minority of any kind. You don't want to have that like be felt so it's hard to joke about it but i think contrapoint said it best when she said i can't wait till we are in a place as a society that we can make fun of trans people because there's so much to work with and that was the funniest shit i've ever heard (laughs) she's like there's so much to work with there i'm a woman with a penis that's hilarious i could not stop laughing when she said that (laughs) that's like when uh transphobes are like oh well the left like trans people they, they they just can't take a joke Yes, they fuck. They can. Have you heard trans people make jokes to each other? Trans that people can hilarious. make such. I know trans yeah. people are so funny. Prove yeah. me wrong. You're. Uh, you're right. I think that kind of comes with like it's unfortunate, but it kind of comes with like the the territory of being, I guess, made fun of or attacked so much is a lot. A lot of like coping mechanisms involve like humor and stuff and. And finding finding the the humor or the beauty in like those dark places. Awesome though, they're they're yeah, uh I I think I think TikTok has been showing me a lot of like basically non straight uh comedians. <laughs> a couple lesbians and, and, and some uh trans folks, and it is some of the funniest shit. Dude. I know it's really funny that they say like women aren't funny, like that's a stereotype. When my favorite comedians of all time are always lesbians. No. Lesbians are so <laughs> fucking funny. That is the funniest shit ever. When they say women aren't funny, it's because it's some straight white guy, man, that can't relate. They're they're experiencing the I can't relate factor for the first time in their life. Tell me you've never driven a Subaru without showing me you've never driven a Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking furry. Uh, I, I brought up three. Uh, I searched transgender slang just for educational purposes, and it gave me four little options. We have um, a chaser or a T-slur chaser, someone oh, yeah. who is attracted to transgender people. We have clock to recognize someone as transgender. However, I think that one applies to all. A lot of things. I don't think that's an exclusively trans slang. Clock, like, 
Yeah, like if you if you get clocked, you're like, oh, dude. Oh, if you. Oh, OK. I thought you meant like a literal clock. I was like, what? <laughs> clock okay. tiktok bitch yeah <laughs> uh to dead name somebody is a noun as a noun a, a transgender person's birth name so dead naming somebody is when you call them by the incorrect name or their name yeah. that they were assigned with at birth that they no longer identify as um uh usually uh as a a mean thing in order to out somebody so dead naming is bad yeah uh, and this is my favorite one i don't even know if we could say it on the podcast but it's girl dick <laughs> <laughs> oh no that's great a that's, trans feminine I, person's penis especially one changed by hormonal use Fine, i can't recommend it enough find yourself some girl dick and get piped up uh, send <laughs> that is my so trans day of listening to this is that ac no i'm kidding <laughs> that is my trans day of visibility uh shout out to everyone find yourself some girl dick and get piped up is... <laughs> so Let's talk about the, the 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 elephant in the room, right? Of what was the Easter versus Trans Day of Visibility, and how <laughs> so many mis misguided and mis uh, uh, very lacking of knowledge conservatives were upset Sunday, it's including just... good old Donald J T Rump. It's no just... way! It's oh insane. yeah. So so one of the big things was is Joe Biden acknowledged Trans Day of Visibility as well as Easter. And that was a big attacking point for the right and Donald Trump. Of That's course. Insane. But, and it's the funniest fucking thing in the world because Trans Day of Visibility has never moved. It yeah. is on the 31st of March. It does not move. It does not change. It is the Trans Day of Visibility. Easter butted in this year because of leap years and bullshit. So, Conservatives getting all butthurt and trying to say it's some leftist agenda thing to put Trans Day of Visibility on Easter to push out Easter is so such a load of crock. It's so bad. Yeah, is that like, really a narrative people were spinning? Yes, yes. <laughs> well, like there, Easter's people, bitch like, ass is the one being in March out of nowhere. Like Easter's territory is in April. That Easter's the yeah. One why the, the line. fuck was Easter in March? Get yeah, out of here. Yeah. I said, actually, the truth is. Jesus was trans and he riz on riz the riz. He, he riz on the third day. <laughs> riz God. on the third day. I fucking are love... you risen, son? Are you, are you, are you risen, son? <laughs> There's like two memes I really like. I love the one where it's Drake and Josh, and they're like, Drake, where's where's Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like the fucking Steezus Christ, where it's skate three people skate around. I love like, this skateboarding. Oh, yeah, yes, dude. those are so fucking good. Yeah, give us this pro- day my, our daily shred. My friend, uh, my friend sent me that one, the skateboarding Jesus one, and they said <laughs> checkmate atheists. <laughs> <laughs> dude, even Flo hey. will never not be associated with that for me now. <laughs> it's so fucking true. It's so good. Um, wait, I have I have a, another meme to show you. A an Easter meme that I was showed at the con. Oh God! I'm forwarding it to you on Telegram. Really quick, the one that gets me is like all these like right wing people on Twitter being like, oh, I can't believe these two things fell on the same day. Meanwhile, like normal people are like, you know that meme where it's like, holy shit, two cakes. Like we're just like, oh cool, two holidays. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, I got to see the Lorax and Jesus on the same day. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, editing me should put that in the video. Uh, oh my god, son? what a meme. <laughs> are you risen, son? Yeah, I hope you enjoy the cold open that me and Misha planned while Ruby was coming in. Yeah. I Ruby. came back from LVFC. Yeah. yeah. How was that? I, I can How tell by was... your voice you had a good time. Yes, a lot of screaming, uh, typical of, of me coming back from a con, is a yep. lot of screaming. Uh, I think it's just because I don't, like, because I'm, like, a, an at-home artist, besides our podcast, I kind of don't talk much. So then I go to a con, and there's so much talking that, like, I, I always wear myself up. Also, just general, generic screaming. Yeah. Um, right. When Party Ruby comes out. <laughs> Party Ruby truly came out this weekend. There was so much. It was insane. I'm trying to find some of the more cryptic uh, photos of me. Oh, that's amazing. There's all these cryptid Ruby stuff. The, yeah, and they, they were very solid this year, the cryptic Ruby photos. 
And you did it in Vegas. Wait, you can't share anything. It stays in Vegas. Oh, you know what? They changed their mantra. Oh. They changed it to um, uh, what happens in Vegas only happens in Vegas. Like, like you have to come here to do it, I guess, is, is the new... I, I see. I always thought the advertising for that was like weird because, I mean, obviously, with movies like Hangover and stuff, where they're like, "Yeah, you go to Vegas because you go do shit and then don't talk about it again because you go there to go get fucked up or you go do some crazy shit, right? Things that you wouldn't do any other time." And uh, I got that that was kind of a selling point, but the fact that you don't talk about Vegas theoretically means you can't advertise about the shit that goes on there. <laughs> All you can be like, "Yeah, it was a good time." Why? I can't say. I can't. <laughs> like this I signed an NDA sense. on the way out of town. They, they don't like I, I, I did a keg stand as a mermaid. That was pretty sick. That sounds yeah. pretty sick. Yeah. Sounds you did that ruby. while we were doing the after bark. Oh, I, wait, almost, yeah. I almost messaged and was like, Ruby, can you hop on call for like a second and say hi? <laughs> Fuck, I really wish I would have then. Nah, that's all good. Oh, I was on oh, the. Oh, oh. Oh, dude, the, the, oh, no, oh, my God, the faces. I, just, I know, the the faces I made oh, in so many of these are just so good. The cake pops? Are those cake pops? What are those? Yes, those are cake pops, and my my friend was at the airport, and they bought they bought me some cake pops. So then we took that photo, we said, we showed you our cake <laughs> pop, please respond. The fucking, so, the one, the I've, one with I've the had burrito a, is really burrito. fucking funny. On like it's you... own, but it's the guy's face next to you. <laughs> got the disgust. Yeah. I, you know what the disgust is though? I feel like it's not because you're doing it. It's more like I want that burrito or taco. <laughs> it's more like what? I, no, that's I. He looks hungry. I like the one right before that with my cunty sunglasses. <laughs> Dude, what a scene! What a I scene! Also, bro. Hold the on. one right before that is good. We're at Hofbro yeah. House. Oh. And oh, I don't. Who knows what I'm talking about? What that's going to say? <laughs> it's like Aaron Paul Core. Does that make sense? Aaron Paul, who's that? Uh, the actor for Jesse from Breaking Bad. I feel Aaron Paul. Uh, Jesse is a lesbian icon. <laughs> so I, I feel very recognized today on this you're this welcome, their day welcome. of trans vis- visibility <laughs> to be compared to Aaron Paul. <laughs> I mean, Dragon is Aaron Paul core. I love it. Yeah. Jesse, Jesse's a trans icon? Yeah. A lesbian icon. Lesbian. Well, yeah, oh. lesbian icon. Wait, why? They just like him. Oh. I kind of like how, um... The character the Babadook, or the actor? <laughs> the, both. Kind of both. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like how uh, the Babadook is a gay icon. Who is that again? That sounds Duke, so familiar. Duke. Duke. He's he's a monster. He's like not even a real. He's the Babadook. You just Google it. I'm Google yeah, it. I watched the uh, I watched that movie and good. You know what? Actually, scary movie. I don't know why he's a gay icon. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, it's a scary. Scary. What the fuck? Yeah, this search Babadook is search Babadook gay icon, and oh, I will. I guarantee okay. fucking to it. The Babadook. It's <laughs> just him in front of a pride flag. <laughs> How the barbecue? Misha, how the, the barbecue? It's, it's a, it's a Vox article, which is. I told you, I told you, it's real. Well, let's look into this. How the barbecue became the LGBTQ icon we didn't know we needed. <laughs> See how, ter- how terrorizing a white Australian family became an act of queer defiance. Do you just want to put this link to the Ladies Vox article in here? Yeah, I'll put it in the description. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we found our topic for today. <laughs> The this is amazing. Movie. Judy Garland's death is uh, apocriti- uh, uh, apocryphally? Apocritically? Uh, uh, apo- apocryphally? Cri- wow, highly- what a name. Okay, wow. What a word. Apo- apocryphally cited as inspiration for the Stonewall riots? Oh, is it the people that... Okay, I see. Oh, the Babadook has a story prior to what the movie was about oh so it like actually is yeah he's a gay icon oh its existence is defiance so it would defy against heteronormative stuff thus it has to be queer yeah but he didn't he didn't become a gay icon until the movie that's why you see mostly the babadook with the flag and shit yeah (laughs) like i don't like it makes sense but i don't know when it started fucking amazing
Yeah, but the Babadook is a gay icon. Happy Pride, <laughs> everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so that's interesting. Got Professor Ruby in the house. Yeah, right. Does I'm a she... queer, I'm a gay icon, that's I'm... why. God, you're a gay <laughs> icon. Let's go. It's me, I'm the gay icon. Oh, wait, fuck. When is Pride Month in June? June. Yeah. Can we get uh Pride things? Oh, we have to. Because last year we started it too late in the June, I think, and I think we did it for an episode. Yeah, we did the we did like we the did. flags and like, yeah. yeah. So we gotta do something more uh, different or something. But yeah, I'm so excited. I, I, Misha in oh. just a harness. I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Ra- ra- yeah. <laughs> oh, we're up one for pride. Oh my god, <laughs> Ruby's technically in control of that. <laughs> oh, gonna completely derail this thing. Cause, oh. What? Their thing crashed well, again. <laughs> there's two things here. Either Ruby's playing a joke on us, or no, I heard the, the watch stream go away too. <laughs> Discord just shut down. <laughs> you heard the what go away? Dude, you, uh, I can hear when somebody exits the watch part of the stream. Oh my god. So, uh, Ruby also stopped watching the pop out. So, bro, shout out to Ruby's Discord, man. What is happening? Dude, Welcome Ruby's back to the Discord Mark, Mark Me Out podcast, Ruby. <laughs> Why does it do that? I don't April know. Fools, said Discord, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Solace was just I'm about to de- derail things. I'm going to derail things because I thought about April Fools. So you know what my April Fools was? Because I didn't want to do, and I already saw too many YouTube videos and bullshit posts about it. I didn't want to do the goddamn, oh, I'm leaving the fandom bullshit. It's so overdone. That's yeah. No, stop it, furry fandom. Stop it. It's I'll not original. This. It's not funny. It's not. It's just. Bleh. I'll say this. For years, I did the tacky. Um, uh, I'm selling my first suit and leaving the fandom on April 1st. But specifically because there's this one person who always really wanted my first suit to the point that they like almost harassed me about it. And every year oh. on April Fool's, they message me like, are you selling your first suit? And every year I don't reply to them. <laughs> I, I was like, man, that's really mean, Ruby, but if they were harassing you, yeah, get fucked. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, they, so much so that they even made an alt account last year when I posted it. So first they messaged me about it, didn't respond to them, and then they made an alt account. So I know it was them. No followers, brand new today, and all the only post it has was replying to my... Uh, Twitter post trying to sell my fursuit, the fake one, going, you know, this could be somebody's dream fursuit, and it's people like you that are real assholes because they can't get... I was dude. like, no, fuck you, dude. I fucking <laughs> remember when that happened, actually. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, it was, uh... Um, I think it was uh, last year. It was last year, yeah. We definitely talked about it. <laughs> it's because it's the same person every year. Prior to this podcast stuff, but now you're in the know that Ruby has... Uh, I'd call that stalker at this point. <laughs> they just dying for Ruby's suit. They're just dying for my first suit. <clears throat> um. So I did. I, I I was thinking like, what should I do? And we talked about it on the after bark. It was just too late because I work way too much on the weekends. But we were gonna do like maybe next year we'll actually do some funny goofy shit. Uh, before like we'll plan it out and actually schedule it right. Um, but I I just posted on Blue Sky. I was just like, fuck being a monochrome bitch. <laughs> I'm going to go full sparkle dog. <laughs> I want to see it. I, I'm i not going to commission anything. And I'm Damn. not actually going to do it. Damn. Because it's April Fool's joke. And Mine... I have a very reason to do the yin-yang thing is why I'm monochrome. Ah. Mine was uh, but... changing my name on Blue Sky to me should be squeaking. Would love to do it on d- Twitter, but fucking Twitter makes you do fucking 95 factor authentication, solve Fuckers. mate and three to fucking get back into your account. If, if God forbid you change your name, you know, there's so many porn bots, hot nudes in bio, but if I want to change my name to do a silly little joke on one day, I can't. Uh, and then the big thing was, um, I had my editor, Gavin, he, <laughs> he recorded my update video for uh today <laughs> um just like him in his suit talking as if he's me so and then fucking did you see ruby what the cult did oh my god the cult uh, no i haven't seen i've i've barely i've been online to post and then like then that's yeah. it 
fucking I know at least Soya, Carnelian, Fio. I'm not sure how many other people all changed their names to Cult of Broomby profile pics. Yeah. Like the icon. <laughs> There's they've they've given themselves titles titles because Fio is like Fio, High Priestess of the Church of Broomby, Prophet Soya, Priest of the Church of Broomby, Carnelian Fox, Hierophant of the Church of Broomby. Wait, whoa. <laughs> that is so good. I there was fucking... like a... Oh, Steam Pony's got one. Mr. Steam Pony says Broomby, Broom is life. There was like a red mute symbol on the screen there for a second. Over oh, I, I clicked the, the uh, open soundboard. The broom is the what mind the killer. The broom is the. Oh wait a minute! Killer. Was yeah. it on? Wait, it's yeah. On... Do you see that? It's on the stream. What? Wait, what? When they meet. Oh. What the oh. fuck? It's never done that before. Well, yeah, I've never and I've I've muted before on the podcast. Yeah, you have. Let me deafen. Yeah. Oh. Sure. What the fuck? <laughs> wait. What? If, what if I do it? Hold on. Yeah, it was there. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna mute. No, no. nothing. No. It's Solace, you try. Dude, okay, it's showing both of them. What the fuck? Mine worked. Yeah, that was Solus. What the hell? It was both of them. <laughs> yeah, that, that one was Solus. And then if I. <laughs> what the fuck? This what is uh, for happening? Audio... So, for audio listeners, there's a big ass red mute or red deafen thing that pops up on the kind of the middle of the screen if me or Ruby deafen or mute for some reason. So, Discord. I think it's... Is it a part of the reactive Fugi thing? It has to be reactive Fugi in Discord implementing something that changed. <laughs> Fucking stop Discord. Is I'm I'm gonna blame Discord. It was a Discord problem. Bitch ass Discord. It's always a it's always a Discord problem. This is why you got kicked off to Twitter, Solis. <laughs> oh I, no, no, I got kicked off Twitter for oh, yeah. bigots need to be beaten yeah. or something like that. Well, I know, I'm just cause 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 you yelled at the website. But yeah, if you open Reactive Fugi, there's now two two extra slots in in the thing oh is there a way to stop that oh there is oh so oh, like it, you... it's, a, it's a reactive fugi thing yeah you could put an extra How... thing if you mute oh wow I... now it's just oh <laughs> you can't what have you done, <laughs> have you done? Oh. <laughs> Saul is bloody oh. Uh, 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 oh my god <laughs> <laughs> So it looks like we need to put in placeholders for uh, mute and deafen now. I'm in front of y'all now, baby. No, <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> I had the power. Damn it! God, what the fuck? Fuck this! I need a cigarette. It's just a cigarette and uh, it cannot be that bad. Cigarette daydream. She, she was only, only 17. Is it 17? I think it's 17. Uh, I thought it was 18. Uh, no. Your mouth is not moving now, Ruby. Yeah, I know. It's The Ruby smoking thing uh, is not working. Oh, no. Did you accidentally Dude. get rid of the assets or the files? April Fool's reactive Fugi fucked everything. <laughs> Dude, it's broken. I can't. My our table, it's broken. Oh, no. Our table, it's broken. God, that kid's annoying. Wow, shade for no Dude, reason. Was, you know, you, you know what kid? You know what yes. kid genuinely pisses me off? What? That kid what? that was like, I smell like beef over and over again. That video pisses me off every single time I see it. There's a Warrior Cats version of that. Oh God, why? I feel like there's a Warrior <laughs> Cat version of everything. Uh, chat, chat, find it. Uh, you, what's the rule that it's like? Um, if it exists, there's porn of it. That's rule 34. <laughs> rule 34. <laughs> rule, rule uh, 134. If it... <laughs> there it goes. How many lives did you lose over this weekend? Oh, I might have lost two this weekend. I think I'm down to six now. <laughs> Damn. Knock, knock, knocking on death's door. I have, a funny, I have a funny thing to share with you guys. Oh, no. Um... This will be our April Fool's bit. Okay. Uh, have you guys ever heard of... You heard of animal husbandry, right? Yes. Have you ever heard of clown husbandry? No. Actually, what is Because I believe those husbandry? are people. No, clowns are not people. That's a common mis <laughs> misunderstanding. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll educate you, Solis. It's racism showing again. W what is <laughs> clown yeah, husbandry? Racist to clowns, what? <laughs> clown is a race? I'm pretty sure... I'm 
I'm pretty sure it's a species now. Clown <laughs> <laughs> Clown husbandry is a tag that originated on Tumblr involving the idea of clowns not being human being performers, but a species of strange animals kept as pets that entertain humans. These depictions of clowns can vary from animals to human-like, but are often quite a bit more animals in both case. So long story short, people would go onto Tumblr and make like you've we've all seen like people who are overly talking about dogs and they don't know what they're talking about or they just get so hyphy on the internet like how dare you treat an animal like this and it's something like feeding them dog food instead of a vegan diet and things like that. Oh yeah. So this satirizes that type of mindset by talking about clowns as <laughs> as a post. So I want to find just like one or two and read them, just so you guys read it, like like get a sense of this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> did they just did they just DC again? <laughs> Wait, the reactive thing is still on the screen. Okay, I think going forward we can never record on April Fools again. <laughs> Doing my best, okay? Dude, your your reactive Fuki guy was still there. What? You never Everyone. left. Your soul left your body, but your body <laughs> remained. My soul left my body. That was fucking. <laughs> I couldn't. I just. I laughed for like a solid ten seconds. <laughs> what it's like when somebody else wears your fur suit? Right. Oh, dude. Okay, wait. No, I can't. It's so weird for me when anybody puts solace on that isn't me. It's weird for me too. <clears throat> I've let people wear rascal. But not, yeah, but that's a little either. different. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so clown husbandry. There we yeah, go. we're back. We're right. so fucking back. <laughs> clowns, fucking clowns. Here's uh, here's a post from a uh, sounds like somebody looking for a little bit of help. They say, "Hello, clown burr, clown tumbler. Uh, can male clowns smell if a female clown is in heat? My frolicling slash bozo bozo harlequin mix is getting to be about that age, and I've had several stray males lingering at the edge of my property over the past few days, honking all night. It's getting pretty annoying. Is there anything I can do to shoo them off? Uh, as the response from clownhusbandry.tumblr, Depending on the breed clown of clowns in question, yes. The good news is you can absolutely get rid of them. First, your clown... Uh, give your clown a good bath. Make sure she has uh, uh, access to the moist mimes similar to cats. Strongly disliked marigold. So first, try planting some of that or leave out bouquets. If that doesn't work, put lemon juice and spray a bottle and take a walk around the edge. Spray them honkers. Good luck. Harlequin mixes are a lot of fun when they are in heat. Spray oh. them honkers. <laughs> there are a lot of fu the final comment is like I know. They're, these Wait, are all cursed. Did you post it or no? This is this is a whole Tumblr phenomenon. Oh, Solace was saying the final comment. I thought you like posted it somewhere. Oh no, you didn't hear it. No. Can oh, you... the Harlequin mixes are a lot of fun in heat. Oh, I did hear that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what Solace is referring oh, to. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I was like, one. that's fucking wild because everything else was a joke, and then suddenly like. Oh no. <laughs> Can you post screenshots of these in the chat, please? Yes. Cool. Um my I already have my personal five. idea of how to scare off clowns is to get a comically large hook, you know, like they do for <laughs> like the cartoon. Oh yeah. I, you know, yeah. that sounds like that sounds like really effective clown husbandry, uh Solace. I, I approve of that. They see the hook. No! Ah! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they see the hook and they run. They scamper off. Okay. Uh, here's a question. Any info on periods or periodies? Uh, I actually can't read the, this. Oh, wait, here. Okay. It, it explains itself. I already have one as a gift, and since she's a mixed bead, a mime period, I've been using information based on that. Mime mixes. Uh, I have a few mime mixes and a few jester mixes, though I haven't seen much of a full bred period. I'm thinking of breeding her in a few weeks with a purebred period. I want him and the possibil possibility of a litter, too. Be as happy as possible. Any suggestions? I can't help it. I, can't. I, I made a post about a period care on my blog, but here are your quick, quick tips. Check your purebred period for any coloration whatsoever, including blush, eye color, bruising. This could mean illness and breeding a sick period can in, in, in fact infect the mother, but also the offspring and drastically increase the clowns, the chances of clownlet, clown let mortality clown let like a baby clown got it i've also heard them to refer clown to let? as oh my god i've also heard them refer to as chucklings <laughs> trapeze 
<laughs> trapeze or trapeze. These are great. Uh, de- these are great to decrease stress and good as enrichment toys for periods, and also reduce the chances of postpartum depression and the clownlet mortality. About three should be good as the clownlets learn to use the trapeze before they can walk. Check proof of pedigree so that you are ensured the, that the pure <laughs> the purebreds of the purebred stud. Good luck. God. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? He has risen, but yeah. um, <laughs> at what cost? At what cost? At what cost? <laughs> you know, I, I didn't know I needed this in my life, but it's I know. pretty fucking I fun. know. I've just been listening to this on like my traveling home, like people reading Clown Tumblr. <laughs> They're all fucking so good. Like the, here's another one. One more. Hello, Clown Tumblr. Are there any good starter breeds of clown or mime that would be good for someone with sensory issues? I'm autistic, and I've been looking into getting getting a clown, but I know most, if not all of them, honk, and that is sort of noise is very bad for me. I also hear that mimes have a high mortality rate and maintenance, and therefore more expenses, expensive, so I'm not sure how well I'd be able to take care of one. If clown experts could give me some advice, I'd super appreciate it. Also, sorry for so many tags. I'm just very curious and haven't been able to find out a lot of information myself. Hello, I run a clown shelter in a breeding sanctuary, <laughs> and if you're interested in a lower maintenance clown for someone with sensory issues, I'd recommend I'd recommend my service trained scare clown. <laughs> While scare clowns may seem counterproductive, quite the opposite is true. The breed we offer, the lessy, lesser Canadian aquatic clowns, are naturally very quiet and honk at the frequency humans cannot perceive. <laughs> They're evolutionarily adapted to walking on ice floats, so you have very good balance and and walk quietly as well. They're also very loyal and can be trained to help you in high stretch situations where sound could be more overwhelming. They live for about 10 to 15 years and we offer pre-trained service clowns at some therapeutic clown centers with pride modification available uh, in certain circumstances. Feel free to contact us with any questions. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, these are so fucking incredible. This is amazing. <laughs> And this is uh, this is what I wanted to share with you on this or the day of our Lord, uh, April Fools. Wait. <laughs> oh, dude. Wait. No, the, the true like... April Fools is Ruby's. Like, by the way, I made all this up. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be so incredible. Apparently, Damn, that's... next year Easter shows up on four twenty. Yeah. Supposedly. Wait. Eight. Supposedly. Let me look it up. Actually. Yeah, you have to confirm that before you, you know, get I mean, Easter up. I could say whatever on... the fuck I want and people will believe me. Happy that's bad. well not that's today. That's problem with it. Sunday, April 20th, 2025. Oh Crazy. shit. If we survive till 2025, everybody. Yeah, we God, that's a big if considering. Blaze it. I don't think I'll survive to 2025, but uh just put my ghost 100 in the episode. years of this, Ruby. 100 years of this. A hundred, a hundred years, a hundred years, pure be dragon. <laughs> We're so fucking back. Well, yeah, you're a dragon, right? Shit, you've got like a thousand years of this shit. Yeah, yeah, you, you, and I can resurrect you because I'm a dragon. Oh fuck! Oh, yeah. let's go. So you guys are gonna, you're gonna live forever. Uh, oh. you're gonna be immortal, you and like, I'm gonna stop be my aging now before it gets worse. No. <laughs> Four twenty. Like a thousand old fucking bag of bones. Yeah, I want you to be like a petrified tree. Oh my god, that'd be one of those like pro and con things. It's like you live to be a thousand, but you never stop aging. Yeah, yeah. So you uh, just, you just some keep point, hurting. You're literally just like a, a literal bag of bones. God, just... you're an yeah. agony. God, that's a Black Mirror episode, right? Yeah, there. it is. Four twenty this year is on a Saturday. That's not fun. I work doubles on oh, Saturdays. Oh no, Colin. <laughs> could just quit. You're right. I I said call in, but sure, you could just. I quit. could just quit, right? Oh, Ever. I found another good one. Guys, oh, are gonna Jesus. read another clown one. Okay. Remember that when you cook clown meat, it needs to be soft and tender. If it isn't, no, it's, no! Wrong, it's dangerous no! to eat. The We're media usually clowns. doesn't. The usually the media usually doesn't like talking about this because it would make the clown meat. Uh, market sales drop. Keep safe. The response is, while I don't endorse the clown meat industry, this is an important piece of information. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, asked, are clowns reptiles, mammoths, or psilopods? Someone Ooh. responded, clowns are of the genus homeo- homeocurosis? Chlorosis. Fuck, I, I don't know. And, oh, and a subcategory of homo, homo intertainus. 
all of which possess <laughs> the Honkladagon genome. This episode's got to be like called April Fools clowning around or something like that. Clowning. Oh around no, there's is a good another. Name. Or the clown. I episode. personally, I per- I was gonna like, I was gonna draw us all clown noses, but I I just didn't have time with the con. Damn. Editing me should give us all clown noses. I was gonna say, hold on, let me open up Google. Make a really interesting one. Just Jesus, comma April Fools, comma Las Vegas for a con, comma the, the, the Lorax, <laughs> Jesus Lorax and clowns. I personally do not buy clown milk, but if you do, please make sure you are buying an ethical <laughs> brand. Uh, Most common is our chocolate uh, clown milk brands like True Goof and Shamrock Farm source their milk from caged clowns. <laughs> Clowns, even dairy clowns, need at least 300 feet to roam, and most dairy clown breeds are somewhat territorial. Clowns kept in cages rarely live past 10 years, compared to the 40-plus lifespan you can expect for most large breeds of clowns. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Aren't these so good? And they're also, like, incredibly long. No, like, it's it's the perfect, ma- like, the perfect amount of, like, satirical Yeah. Comedy. Because really like, you have to make it believable, but it's all a joke. I also yeah. really like the, like, I, I embrace the, the clown misinformation, too. Like, people arguing about what is and what is good clown husbandry. <laughs> it just makes it more sad, satirical to actual husbandry in the animal field. Right? You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> There we go. We got some cloud noses. Ruby's has to be a little smaller. Oh, cute. There we go. <laughs> All right. Perfect. We now have cloud noses. This should have been done a long time ago, but it's amazing. It just got brought up. I didn't realize we were going to have a clownologist in the fucking house. Thank you. It's me. I'm the, I'm your local clownologist. Got their doctorate in comically large boots. Thank you, thank you. Uh, actually, if we're talking about souls, boot boots. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, uh, I have to tell you some jokes that Fortuna told me at the con because they were going off on dad jokes. Oh, oh God. Uh, I love dad yeah. jokes. Oh. This one was so good. So, Ash has joined the podcast. Have you heard about the, the psychic that's, uh, run from, that's running away from the cops? No. Oh. He's a small, medium at large. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, before. wait. Yeah, I was just about to say. God, this is like when I yeah. made that cut in that one episode and I read a shit ton of dad jokes. Yes! I I just searched dad jokes. I want to see if I can find... Because Fortuna is so good at telling them, I'm not. We should get Fortuna on up. for like five minutes next episode. All right. I got a good yeah. one. Message Fortuna and just say that you need them to do in suit, uh, like five, like two minutes of dad jokes. I will. They will for us. <laughs> My wife uh, said I should go do lunges to stay in shape. That would be a very big step forward for me. <laughs> I'm afraid of the calendars. Its days are numbered. <laughs> oh, it's a, I'm afraid for the calendar. I fucked that one up. Damn. Wow. Oh, here's here's a here's a uh, appropriate one. If April showers bring May flowers, what do May flowers bring? Oh, I, I feel like pilgrims. This, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Ooh, wolf. Colonialism. Oh, okay, <laughs> one more. Okay, I like this one. What do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? I don't know. Sophisticated. Oh my god. Sophisticated. <laughs> That's our episode, everybody. I'll be here all week. Uh, well, I just I did wanna I did wanna ask a little bit more. Um because I've had people go, but how was your personal experience at LVFC? Like, can you give like a little rundown on like did you stay in a like a hotel room there? Like Yes, we stayed in a hotel room. How was uh, your at, room? The, at the resort. The rooms are a fucking nightmare. Oh, oh, no. The rooms are so funny. Like, there is a charm about them. Because they're all trashy in their own right. So it is kind of charming. 
like one of our friends had their uh some of the windows are screwed shut some of them are not screwed shut they're all screwed shut with different types of screws one of my friends had their automatic door closer removed but because the hinge wasn't replaced there's just a piece of wood like on their door <laughs> what the fuck? at one of the room parties a door was busted down <gasps> jesus I won't say whose room party it was in case they want to remain anonymous, but the... I was like, LVFC is not having it next year, shit. I uh, thought you lose the closet. <laughs> no, no, all the rooms are just like this. I don't think... I oh, don't think shit. that... Yeah. Oh, two, two, if not three of my friends had to be moved rooms because it was raining all day sun Saturday, huh? and the rooms were flooding. What ah! The fuck? One of the, wasn't one of the big talking points, like, how nice the rooms were? Wasn't that one of the big selling points? I, thought, yeah, I don't I, know, but that is not the reality not if that's the it. case. Damn. I I, go ahead. How was the showers? Horrible. Shower. There was no warm flowers? water. No <gasps> warm no! water. No. No, nobody I knew had warm water. That is the, the most depressing thing. When I go to a con and I go to these like a hotel that I'm paying good money for, which granted, I, I, I believe the LVFC ones are like at, like relatively reasonably priced, but... I guess maybe that price reflects in the quality, but uh, <laughs> God, going to a con, I want a hot shower, dude. I, I, I suit too much. I need a hot shower, and not getting yeah. getting a lukewarm shower after you suit or like wake up in the morning, you're trying to get moving. God damn, that sucks. And I've had a couple <laughs> MFFs like that where I've been at a hotel where the, the the unless you were showering at an off time, it just the, their like water couldn't keep up. Ugh. Yeah, I I tended to stay up until like five in the morning and then sleep till noon. Uh, so I'd shower at noon and my showers would be okay. But all my friends who woke up early said that like there was no clean showers. No okay. clean showers or no warm showers. Warm showers, no oh, warm okay, showers. Okay. Clean showers is a whole different issue. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no. Uh, the paint was flooding on the hotels. Like the <laughs> the they are the like water bubbling. Mm. Oh. How was uh, the uh how was like the 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 pool and and like the stuff like that? The pools was great. In fact, that's how so me so I wake up on Saturday morning and Fortuna texts me, "Hey, come to the pool." And I was like, "Fuck, like I'm too tired to do anything, but I'll roll out of bed to hang out with Fortuna." Mm -hmm. Uh we go to the pool and then like more people start going around the pool and then my friend Hash comes up to me and says, "Hey, they have a keg at the other pool, but there's nobody there." Like it was just like somebody brought a keg. And I was like, "Let's go steal it." <laughs> <laughs> we of course didn't actually steal it but we go up to them and we're like hey uh the vibes at pool two are really fun you should bring we'll help you bring this keg to pool two and they were like okay okay it's it'll be like a 15 dollars buy-in unless you can do 15 seconds of the keg and then and then and then you uh your drink was free one dude did 30 seconds and the dude the people who owned the keg paid him oh no shit God. Dude, the party vibes, that's cool. The party vibes were so good. That was another big selling point. It was like, it's just like... Yeah, the vibes song. immaculate. Yeah. Well, th this is what, year two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, All I've heard is the, the, the vibes there are, are pretty good. Now, I thought the rooms... I had heard, I think last year, I heard the rooms weren't as good as they have been advertised. But not to that like level unfortunately because <laughs> i'm very particular like if i go to a con i'm spending i spend especially if i go to lvsc i'm gonna go for like a four day stay at minimum right like i'm living there for four days it's gotta be like nice ish <laughs> yeah <laughs> i, I like the live size in a... and i like the size and shape of the rooms they really work for like fursuiting oh. and hanging out because they all kind of had like separate living rooms Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, they were like like typical hotel rooms. Like the the bed is just in the middle of the room. Yeah, the bed is the room. <laughs> the bed is the room. Yeah. So they had like little separate areas, and that was nice. Worst pull out couch of my life. Damn. Oh no, pull out game not strong. Well, if the uh, water situation is bad at AC, we can just shower together, save water, oh, save right, hot water. Right. Yeah, yeah. Pee in the pool. Wait, Keep are we in the pool? What? Wait, 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 are we rooming together? Wait, no, dude. no, no. <laughs> Damn. I still uh, don't technically have a room. <laughs> you you were all excited. <laughs> all right, I'm fading fast. I gotta go sleep. Okay. Oh, uh, hey, you almost made a full hour, so. Yeah. We are to the end of the episode. 
Sorry, it's a little wow. shorter this week. Uh, I'm starting my first week of classes, so I'm busy. Solace is tired and busy, and Ruby is tired and was just super duper busy, so they need a break. <laughs> so we're all in different stages of busyness. Uh, let Wait, me pull up. Ruby's got to go die to the world for fucking 18 hours. Yeah, basically. But definitely hydrate and like. Yes, do do that. I am craving a Dr. Pepper. I also got first class on the way home. That is not hydrating. And honey and tea or any good thing. I've never flown first class. What is that like? So good. I highly recommend it. It's the fucking baller. Oh. I love first class. Let me see how much that costs for Anthro. Dude, if I fly out to Anthrocon, it's going to be fucking July 4th when I do it. Wait, holy shit. Uh, I like flying on holidays. 4th of July is Thursday. I got the I got the Patreon list. Uh, thank you so much to Lagoshi Busiarati. We still don't know how to say that one. Also, it's not Lagoshi. It's Lagosi Busiarati. Yeah. I well, it Lug- was... is it Lago- That's how Lagoshi is spelled in uh, oh, is it? Beastars. It's just oh. pronounced Lagoshi. But it's, oh. let's see. Yeah. And then thank you to Landon Yeen for upgrading their tier. So they are now on the highest tier as well, which is fucking crazy. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to Sycamore. Thank you to Bowie Barks. Thank you to Heartless Hero. Thank you to Pip the Badger. Thank you to Rays. Thank you to Feo Fox. Thank uh, Feo Firefox. Oh, my turn to fuck it up. Thank you to Coraline R. Thank you to Kai. Thank you to Quint. Thank you to Carnelian Fox. And thank you to Steampony and Ankara. Oh, woo. Oh, woo. <laughs> happy, happy oh, April Fool's Day. Uh, if happy you're here... April Fool's, late April Fool's. Yeah, it's like April 5th by the time you're watching this. Speaking of which, April 5th, wow. If you're here for the premiere, hi. If you're listening to this on a later date, like the next day, my birthday, uh, we premiere these every Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then afterwards we do an After Bark episode. Uh, that's going to be a little earlier this this week because this episode is a little shorter, but usually those premiere at around 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, you know, come out, come say hi, come hang with the chat, come vibe. We usually chat about the episode, chat about whatever crosses our minds. And yeah, mm-hmm. it's usually Celebrate a lot of fun. Early. Celebrate Misha's early birthday, which means, yeah, yeah, Ruby, Friday, Saturdays is Misha's birthday, so we have to do shots on uh, Friday after Bark if you're there. Oh, wait, Argo's gonna be here. Argo's gonna be in town too. Oh, Argo. Yeah, yeah Yo. bring Argo in. Yeah. Bring Argo in. <laughs> yeah. We'll all do birthday shots on Friday. Birthday shots. Birthday shots. Birthday shots. All right, y'all. Bye. Have a good weekend. I'm gonna um, go hug Andy and go to sleep. I'm Sounds just clowning good. around. Oh my oh, fucking god. Baby, what an ending. Thank mm-hmm. you.